Hello everyone, today I'm teaching you to knit the sphere of the small planet. All spheres have a total of two forms. The first is like the gray and blue sphere I'm holding in my hand. The surface of the fabric is smooth. What about the second type of sphere? It's a raised horizontal line in the middle of the fabric surface. These two spheres end up with different finished results. Today we'll show you how to weave these two types of spheres. Take the yarn in the color of the body of the planet you want to knit. Wrap the yarn around your finger. After the winding is complete, the magic ring. The first loop of the needle has now been started. We need to knit it as C single crochet in the round. See my demo. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight SC. After completion, tighten the coil. There's no more space in the center. Insert the crochet hook into the V-shaped stitch of the first SC. Crochet around the thread to bring it out. Bringing the thread out of the loop again. Tensioning. This is a SSSL straight ship stitch. The first lap is complete. At the start of the second lap, to weave a CH chain stitch first, the beginning of each loop, or start by knitting a CH. After the CH is done, in each stitch on the first loop, knit 2 SC. In the first round we knit a total of 8 SC stitches. So in the second round, we need to weave 8 ink increase. Knit 2 SC in the first stitch. 1 SC. Still knitting on the same gauge. 2SC. This completes an ink. In the second stitch, we are still knitting 2SC. Thus knit 2SC in each stitch. After this round of knitting, we have 16SC. Now 16 SCs have been woven. Crochet through the first stitch. Knit a shape stitch to join. At the end of each loop, a shape stitch is created. The rest of the story is over. After the second lap, we begin the third loop. Let's start with the edge. Knit a SC in the first stitch. Knit an ink in the second stitch. This is a set of loops, and then we'll continue to weave in this way. To show you two loops. Start with a SC in the first stitch. Then crochet into the second stitch. Crochet to SC in the second stitch. This completes the cycle. To show you again a SC and then weave an ink. The second set of loops is also complete. This loop is complete. We've added a total of 8 SC. We have 24 SCs after the weaving. The rest is up to you. 24 SC in the third loop are now complete. The fourth loop is knit in 3 SC. One ink for group. Weave through the loop in this way. Let me show you how it's done. Start by knitting 3 SC in a row.
after weaving three SCs. Knit an ink in the fourth stitch. This completes the set of stitches. 3 SC, 1 ink. Weave the circle in this way. The knitting pattern for the fifth loop is 4 SC, 1 ink. But the ink is in the middle of these 4 stitches. Let me show you. Let's start by weaving 2 SC. Knit 1 SC in the first stitch. Knit another SC in the next stitch. After the two stitches are knit, we are going to knit an ink. Knit an ink in the third stitch. After that, we will knit two more SC after the ink. One SC. Knit another SC in the next stitch. This completes the set of knitting methods. Only the ink is in the middle of these four stitches. Two SC on the right. 2SC on the left, who can ink in the center? Let's show you again. Weave 2SC first. Weave another ink. And finally need two more SC. This completes the set of loops. We are going to finish the loop in this way. No more demonstrations here, 6 circle. The knitting pattern for the 6th loop is 5 SC, 1 ink. Let me show you the first set. Let's start by knitting 5 SC. Weaving, knit an ink in the sixth stitch. This completes the first group. Let's follow this. Hook 5 SC, 1 ink to finish the loop. Seventh lap. The seventh loop is to hook 6 SC, 1 ink for group. The ink is still in the center of the six stitches. Let me show you the first group. Let's start with 3 SC. After completion, knit an ink on the fourth stitch. Then we knit an ink on the back of the ink, weaving 3 more SC. This completes the first set of knitting. Later on, we'll follow the same pattern. Weaving 3 SC first. Weave another ink. And finally, 3 more SC. This is a set of loops. And that's how you finish the 7th loop. Now we've made the 7th loop. For the 8th loop, the knitting method is to knit a full circle of SC. Knit a SC in each stitch. Knit a total of 48 SC in this round. The method is relatively simple. From the 8th to the 11th lap, weaving 48 SC on each lap. Finish these rounds on your own. We have now completed the 11th loop. In the 12th loop, we will explain the difference between the two methods of knitting the sphere. If we were weaving a pattern like the blue planet, or a gray planet like this, it needs to have a smooth surface. So on the 12th lap, we continue to weave 48 SC. But if we are going to weave something like the pink planet, there's a raised line that way then. One would need to learn another way of weaving. I'll show you how to make a bud in the center like this. First crochet a ch. We are still knitting sc on the 11th loop. Only the position of the sc in the needle has changed. Let's see, under normal circumstances, 
We are going in from here. Pick up the four two threads and begin to knit SC. Bite on the twelfth loop. We enter the needle in the center. Picking up the line farther away from us to knit the SC. We are knit the first SC. Let's see my demo again. Pick this line that's farther away from you. Everyone just follow this. Pick only the half of the line that's farther away from you. Finish weaving the 48 SC of this loop. The 12th loop is knit in this manner for one full loop. Now I've finished the 12th round. We see a clear trace raised. It's the same bump as the one here on the pink planet. This line. And of course to emphasize it again for you, if you are knitting a sphere with a smooth surface, our 12th slab is still picking up the full two wires. The method is relatively simple. Next, for the 13th and 17th loops. Still weaving 48 SC. We are finished these runs on our own. We will continue to show you when we reach the Shibas lab. We have now completed the 17th loop. After the 17th loop, the sphere is deck decrease. Let's see me demonstrate the Shibas turn. The 18th loop is 6 SC 1 December. The deck is in the middle of the 6 stitches to show you the first loop. Weave 3 SC first. Then weave a deck. Pick up the first stitch. Half a stitch closer to you. Pick up a second stitch. Half a stitch closer to you. Crochet hook around the thread. Pulling out the coil is ASC. That completes it. Two stitches merged into one. This is a deck. Then we weave three more SC. The first set of knitting methods is complete. The first three SC. Three SC in the back. One deck in the middle. This is the complete set of loops. Let's show you one more time. Let's start by knitting 3 SC. Weave another deck. Then weave 3 more SC. And that's it for the second set of loops. We will need the 18th circle in this way. No more demonstrations here. 19th circle. The knitting method for the 19th loop is 5SC, one deck. Let's show you the first group. Weave 5SC first. After the 5 SCs are done, weaving another deck. This completes the first set of weaves. Let's follow this method. Weave 5 SC first, weave another deck. Finish the 19th loop. No more demonstrations here. 20th lap, 2 SC, 1 December. The deck is still in the middle of the four stitches to show you the first set of knits. Let's start with 2SC. Then we will deck. And finally two more SC. This completes the set. 
start with two SC. We have another deck. And finally two more SC. We will need the 20th circle in this way. 21st loop, 3 SC, 1 December. After the 3 SCs are knitted, weaving a deck, This completes the set. Continuing in this manner, hook 3 SCs first, hook another deck. Finish the 21st loop. For the 22nd round, weave a SC a deck ASC. The deck is in the middle of the two stitches. Let's see me demonstrate the first group. Let's start by weaving a SC, then weave a deck. And finally ASC. This completes the set. Next we follow this. After weaving this loop, 1 SC, 1 deck, 1 SC. Keep weaving down. After the 22nd round, we need to take out the filler, stuff the fabric. After stuffing, let's move on to the 23rd loop. The 23rd loop is knit with 1 SC and 1 deck. Knit 1 SC first. Weave a deck. Weave through the loop in this manner. I'll show you again. Weave a SC first. And then weave a deck. Continue weaving, completing the 23rd loop. After the 23rd round, we'll do the last round. We are going to need 6 decks in the last loop. Six decks have been knitted. Stretch in the coils. Reserve about 10 cm of yarn. Cutting. Pulling the coil. Taking out the hand sewing needle. Picking up the last loop, outer half of each stitch. That's the half of the needle that's closer to you. That's six times. Tightening the coil. Then thread the hand sewing needle through the round hole in the center. Pull on. Then we run the hand sewing needle back and forth across the inside of the fabric a couple of times. Hidden yarn. After the yarn is hidden, cutting the yarn. This completes the main body of a planet. Next, I'll teach you to weave the planet's halo. The halo is woven into the shard's circle of reserved flow. The sample is a solid colored halo weave. The tutorial will teach you to knit a colored halo. Once everyone learns the colored, aura of solid color is learned naturally. First, we pick up the prepared colored yarns. And for the inner side, we use this bright red color. Finger wrap after finishing. We pick the reserved flow. Reserve some yarn for stash. Hook out this yarn. Hook a CH. Leave this thread alone for now. At the end, we'll hide the yarn uniformly. Now we start knitting SC. 
within the first SC. Then on the next flow, pick the next flow with another SC. And in this way, with a full circle of SC, we have 48 stitches in the 12th round. Here we have a total of 48 SC knit in our first loop. The method is relatively simple. Weave to the 47th SC. Let's see my demo again. Now I've finished 47 SC. This is the time to break the thread. Reserve a portion of yarn for stash. After the disconnect is complete, for the 48th stitch, we are going to change the yarn. Need half a SC in the original color. That's half an SC. Just don't wrap it around. Just don't keep weaving. Then take out the yarn to be replaced. Same thing. Reserve a certain length of yarn. Use this yarn to bring out and knit into ASC. This completes the change of yarn. After the 48th stitch, we find the first SC stitch and crochet the ship stitch. Tighten the coil. This completes the yarn change. If you want to knit a planetary halo in a solid color, just go ahead and continue knitting it. No intermediate yarn change operations. The second loop is knitted in the same way as the first. Only the second loop is looser than the first. Because if it's too tight, or if it's the same tightness as the original, the ring will be deformed. Knit loosely so that the rings can stand up on the surface of the fabric. So for the second loop, we are going to follow the curve and loosen up a little bit. Everyone continue knitting 47SC with this color of yarn. On the 48SC, Let's change the yarn again. After 47 SC, take out the scissors and break the thread. A portion of the yarn is set aside to hide the threads. We are starting to knit half a SC. When we are done, we will take out the blue yarn that we are replacing. Leave the threads a little longer. Finish this SC. Tighten this loop a little bit. So we've replaced the blue yarn. With another ship stitch. Tighten the coils. The yarn comes together at the end to hide. Put it in the back now. Don't worry about him. Lap 3. Still knitting 48 SC. Again, this loop should not be too tight. After 48 SC, the planetary rings have been woven. Let's disconnect this blue yarn. Pull out the last loop. Take out the hand sewing needle. We are going to be in the final interface position. Using a hand sewing needle, sew a stitch the same as SC. It looks like this interface is a little more rounded in places. The hand sewing needle is inserted into the V on the first SC stitch. Tighten after insertion. 
Tighten slightly. This is the last SC stitch. We are going through the center. When we tighten it up, we get a stitch that looks like this. This way they look more rounded from the outside. They look better. Next, we are going to follow the texture of the color. Hiding all these yarns on the inside of the fabric. The method is relatively simple. Everyone just does it their way. Just shuttle the yarn back and forth. After it thread is threaded into the fabric, it goes back and forth several times. Cut the yarn to fit the surface of the fabric after you've hidden it. Let's hide the rest. After the planetary rings are woven, we are sew on a cute emoticon. The eyes and mouth can be sewn into your favorite shape. A complete planet with planetary rings is now complete.